What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. We have a couple of updates for you guys that I want to talk to you about. The first update is that I've been reading this in the comments and all that, and you guys have been letting me know that schools has, have been closed in Trinidad and Tobago, the government offices have been closed, uh, businesses are closing early. So I just wanted to uh, address that first and foremost because that's uh, what we what we what we like to see. Honestly, we like to p see people taking this seriously, and uh, for and kids, even though they're missing school, um, hey, it's for a, it's for a good reason. There's a, a bit of a tropical storm moving through. So yeah, please, I want to say thank you for leaving that in the comments below, uh, keeping me informed about that. So yeah, if you if if you guys have any updates for me that you want me to cover in my next video, please leave that in the comments down below. It would be much appreciated. But with that being said, I do have the second thing I need to talk to you about. So this is the this is the second thing real quickly. This is the satellite imagery right here. We're actually going to go ahead and pause it to the last frame right here, and I'm going to kind of explain this to you. So if we take a look at the current storm information, better yet, the NHC cone, the center location is about 10.1 degrees north according to the National Hurricane Center and 59.5 west. Uh, the sustained winds are at 40 miles per hour and it's moving west at 24. And that's, uh, and that's a pretty fast speed and all, but there are some very kind of concerning things I want to talk to you about. Because first of all, it looks like it, the rotation isn't, like the center of circulation isn't even at 10 degrees. It looks like it's about 70 miles to the north uh, over tr uh, this island in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm not sure if it's Trinidad or Tobago. I'm not entirely sure, so I'm, so I'm sorry in advance. But it looks like the center of circulation is starting to develop right here. And another, and another YouTuber uh, also uh, talked about this. I'll leave their video down in the description below j uh, just uh, so you guys can get some context to that. But it looks like the center of circulation is starting to relocate. It looks like the center of the circulation is not at 10.1 degrees, but it's rather around 11.3, which is about 70 to 80 miles to the north. Now, you're wondering, Patrick, why are you talking about this? Well, that 80 miles could make a, a one hell of a difference. Let me explain it. Because if we take a look at the HMON model, this thing actually has it moving uh, actually th uh, off the coast of Venezuela, uh, th uh, through these islands right here, including Ar uh, including Aruba, and then moving through into Nicaragua, that 80 miles would put it further up to the that for 80 miles north makes it the difference because if you look at the NHC cone, this thing is potentially making landfall in several areas, including the mainland of Venezuela and Colombia. 80 miles to the north, it's in completely open water, and if you take a look at the wind shear right here, it. It, that basically is, it's still an open season right there. And considering how warm the waters are also, if we take a look at that, 20 degrees Celsius, about 83, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. The way I see this is that, let's just say that if this thing move, if this, this thing is designated, the center is actually 70 to 80 miles to the north as it's lo starting to look like it, then we could potentially be looking at a much stronger system than expected because Honestly, the only thing that is keeping this thing from getting any stronger is all, all the land interaction right here. The, all the potential landfalls this thing may take, uh, take place. It's like moving a system through the Greater Antilles. It's like Hur Hurricane Laura before it became a hurricane. It was moving through the Lesser Antilles. It was making landfall in Puerto Rico. Not, well, not North, not Puerto Rico. It was making landfall in the Dominican Republic. Making landfall in Cuba making landfall in a bunch of other places, and it kind of hindered its, it didn't really hinder its development, but it did hinder its intensity because it kind of stayed the same. So, yeah, and then after that, it went to the Gulf, and it started rapidly intensifying to the Category 4 hurricane we now know and uh, really are shocked about today, and before it hit Lake Charles, Louisiana. So, yeah, that's why I'm talking about this, because this thing is 70 to 80 miles to the north. We could be looking at something larger and stronger than a Category 1 hurricane uh, came at 75 to 80 miles per hour. Because if it's over those warm waters and that weak wind shear right there, we could, I think at this point, Category 2 hurricane, uh, Category two hurricanes on the table, major hurricane starts to get in play. And also, that moves the, the target location from central Nicaragua, and it puts Hondur uh, parts of uh, northeastern Nicaragua and Honduras in play. So... That's not that's not good, and 
and this has been starting to redevelop and relocate since this morning. I've noticed that. The convection's getting a lot more organized over here, and the situation that I'm, look, I'm looking at, it's, yeah, this thing looks like it's actually going to be further to the, a little further to the north than expected, which means it's not going to be directly in the line of those islands, which is likely the only thing that's hindering its, its strengthening. So, yeah, I wanted to make this video to let you know about that. But with that being said, it's going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. If you're in Trinidad and Tobago, if you're in Grenada, if you're in any of these tropical storm warnings, take this very seriously. There's rain already going on and winds going on in Trinidad and Tobago as well as in Grenada. So... Yeah, I'll continue to update you guys as this develops. Uh, this thing ends up actually relocating. The NHC designates a new thing. I'll let you guys know. But with that being said, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.